Divide using short division. 184 divided by 8. Okay, first of all, what is short division? Well, short division is actually quite similar to long division, except we just do a few more of the steps in our head, so we don't write out quite as many steps as long division. You know when you're doing long division, you've got like all these rows of things, you're bringing down all these things. So long division, short division kind of takes away all, that, all those steps, um, and I guess uses less paper as well if you're doing it all on if you're doing all the questions on paper. So short division, we use the same box as we used in long division, right? And remember that the dividend goes inside the box and the divisor goes outside the box. Okay, so what's our first step of long division? We divide starting at the biggest place value, right? We look to the one on the left, the biggest place value. So our first division, well, eight is bigger than one. Right, so we're going to look at the first two place digits instead. So our first step of division would be 18 divided by 8. So 18 divided by 8, what's the closest to that? It doesn't go evenly, but what's the closest? So 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, that's pretty close. 8 times 3 is 24. So 24 is too big. So 3 we can't use, we're going to have to use 2. So 18 divided by 8, 8 fits in to 18 twice. Okay, so in long division, what we would do then is we would do 2 times 8. We'd get 16, right? And we would write the 16 here, and then we'd do the subtraction. And 18 minus 16, we'd get 2, so we'd write the 2 here. And then we'd bring down the 4, right? And we would get 24. So then our next step of division would be 24 divided by 8. But in short division, actually, we do things a little bit differently. We're not going to write out this subtraction and this bringing down. We're going to do the subtraction first in our head. So we do 18 divided by 8. Well, we get 2, right? And we know that 2 times 8 is 16. So in our head, we do 18 minus 16. We get 2. And we take this 2 that we got from our subtraction, and we put it right here. We write a little 2 here. Does that look like a 2? Yeah, kind of in front of the 4. And see how then that makes 24, right? Just like instead of bringing down, we have a 24 up there. Okay? And so then our next step of division would be 24 divided by 8, which is the same thing as if we did the long division. We brought down the 4, our next step of division would be 24 divided by 8. So in short division, instead of writing out all this, we just go automatically to this. We take our remainder from 18 minus 16, so what's left over, we take that 2, and we put it right in front of the next digit that we're going to be dividing by. So then we would get 24. Okay, so in short division, you don't have any of this. We're not going to write any of that down. All we do is that 2 in front of the 4 there. Okay, so our next step of division, of course, is 24 divided by 8, and that one goes evenly, right? 3 times 8 is 24, or 24 divided by 8 is 3. Okay, so our, ant, our quotient would be 23 there. So actually the steps of short division are the same as long division, but we just don't write down all of them. Okay, we don't write down the subtraction, and we don't do the bringing down. We just do the subtraction in our head, and then take what's left over, and put it in front of the next place digit over. All right? And then we move on to that division. All right? So let, if you're, first of all, if long division is, um, is tricky for you, ch do the videos, watch, check out the videos on long division first before you move on to short division. Because short division, you need to have the steps of long division in your head pretty well so that you can do the short division in your head. Plus also, you can watch the next videos on short division. We're going to be doing a few more videos on short division so that you get these steps down packed. Right? 184 divided by 8 is 23.